Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about buying a motorcycle here in Thailand. I am in Chiang Mai right now at a used motorcycle store. I thought we'd look at the different models, talk about the paperwork that you need to buy one and all that good stuff. So let's get started. So this is the place we're gonna go. It's called the uh, Romchak Used Motorcycles. It's right behind Tops, right by Michak and Romchak in Chiang Mai. So the way things work in this particular store is there's motorcycles everywhere, but there is a rhyme and reason to it. So there's a guy right there and there's one over there. Anyway, there's people, there's one right here. They're all over the place. And what it is, is there's many different dealers all here under one roof. So when you look, let's say at these motorcycles over there, you're going to be dealing with this guy over here. And if you go to the one down there, you're gonna be dealing with somebody different. Now, a friend of mine just bought a motorcycle here last week, and we were so busy looking at the motorcycles and everything, I didn't even think about doing a video. But now that he's coming back here to do some of his paperwork, I thought we would go over all the steps that you need to go through to get a motorcycle and the different models that they have here and the cost. So we will start with the Yamaha Falanos. They're very popular here. You see people driving these all the time. These are some of the colors. Now these are all used, of course, and you're gonna see a little bit higher pricing here than you would if you bought it from an individual, let's say on Facebook Marketplace. But we'll go over in this video why we decided to get a motorcycle here from my friend and how it all worked out. But anyway, these are some of the Falanas they have. It looks like this one. Well, they're all about the same price. This is 43.9, 43.9, 58.9, and 58.9. These are typically 125 cc, so they're good for one to two people. But if you're going out in the mountains and you're going to have two people on it, it will struggle getting you up the mountains. Now, another popular model here is the Honda PCX. As you can see, it's a bigger motorcycle. It's built real well for two people um, these are used of course everything here today is they usually come between 150 cc to the newer ones the brand new ones are, i think are 160 cc so these are good for everything except off-roading how do i know because i had one these are this is the one i had that i sold only reason being is because i couldn't use it off-roading so this one is 68.9 we got one here for 68.9 again and this one yep 68.9 now here is the honda wave that is actually the motorcycle well it was a honda wave that my friend bought here this is what i would call the backbone of thailand you will see these things everywhere one of the things i like about them is that you can use them on road and they actually work pretty decent off-road um, so they're an all-around workhorse here this one in black is 57.9. This one is 55.9 and 55.9. So they're going to vary. There's a lot of them. I know the one that uh, my friend got was like 41,000. Now, if you're wondering if you can negotiate the cost, yes, absolutely. We did and it worked pretty well. But anyway, consider the Wave if you're looking for a good all-around motorcycle. Now, the other ones I've shown you so far are completely automatic. All you have to do is turn the accelerator, the uh, throttle, and you're good to go. However, these, just so you know, they do have a clutch mechanism. And they don't, what I'm saying is you shift the gears down here. So down four, and this is back four. So you can actually shift the gears so it's not as easy but it is pretty easy once you get the hang of it and this one will have a brake down here this one right here so it's a little bit more difficult to drive than some of the scooters okay this one here is called the honda lead this is gonna be your scooter that's good for on the road not off the road um, i'm not sure of the cc this is they are net I think they may be a 150, which would get you up the mountains. And anyway, these are a newer motorcycle, the leads are. So they're pretty nice. I think this one right here is 58.9, just so you have an idea of what it looks like. 
Here's an extremely popular model here in Thailand called the Scoopy. Um, this one, I believe, was marketed more towards women because you'll find these, this is the most manly one I've ever seen. Usually you'll find them in pinks, purples, other pastels, and with little designs on them. But they're cute, they're small, and they get the job done if you're looking for something for the city. And the cost on this one is 52.9, just to give you an idea. Here we are with the Honda Super Cubs. So these have a little bit more bells and whistles and uh, they're, they're a little tougher than some of the other models. They do cost a little bit more, usually. Um, these are very nice motorcycles. These are comparable to the one I have, except this one is primarily made for the road, but you can go off-roading with this. I have seen it done before. It's a tough little motorcycle. And this one is 39.8. So the, and this one beside it in blue, this one is 43.9. So here's one called the Yamaha Cubics. I see these all around Thailand. They're not as popular as some other models and uh, they're quite unique looking as you can see. They do work well in the city. I do not know what the CCs on this one are. I'm going to assume it's probably a 125. And uh, anyway, this is a different type model if the other ones don't do it for you. Let's see how much this one is. This one is 43.9. All right, for those of you who want a dirt bike, which I can't blame you, if you live here in Thailand, it's fun to go off-roading. Here is a used Yamaha. And it's a 155R. 83.9 is what they're asking for this. I wish I would have seen this uh, about a year ago when I was in the market for a dirt bike. Of course, I've already sold mine. But anyway, this one looks really nice. Now, if you're looking for something smaller, they have this called the Honda MSX. And it is a very short motorcycle, but some of these short ones can be a lot of fun. This one is 35.8. Okay, I want to show this one just because it looks so good, but I am not familiar with this one. It's a Yamaha. XSR, and that's if you want to ride in style. But anyway, this one is 73.9 used, which you can negotiate the price on that. So this is the Honda Click. This is a good one for on the road. These come in either 125 or 150 CC, and these would not be good to take off-roading if that's what you're looking to do. This one is 41.9. It's a good looking machine. I rented one of these whenever I stayed in uh, Phuket and I really liked it. Here is the Yamaha Fino and they come in all kind of beautiful colors, but this is one that again is good for the highways here in Thailand. Really nice looking motorcycle. Uh, they have really elaborate uh, things on, that you can look at on the handlebars. Let's see what the price is on these. So they're actually in the cheaper category, 29.5. And this purple one over here is 27.5. And again, that is the Yamaha Fino. Here is a Triumph Bonneville T120, bigger motorcycle. Again, this is if you're wanting to ride in style. Looks like this one is 419,000 baht. This is the Honda CRF 250 rally bike. This is one that you can go on the road, off the road, you can go anywhere you want on something like this, like an adventure bike. And this one, if you're wanting to know the cost of something like this, uses 135,000 baht. It is a beauty. Okay, here is an Inmax. This one is a 300cc motorcycle by Yamaha. So if you're looking for power on the road or you wanna get up the mountains with several people on the back, this will get you up any mountain right here. This is a beast of a motorcycle. It is bigger, and that's not always better here in Thailand. Sometimes it's better to have a smaller ride, but if big is what you want, check out this Inmax. Now, the cost on this one is 159,000 baht. Well, they have the Honda Phantom, so if you're going for that uh, classic motorcycle look like you would get in the United States or other Western countries, here's one, and it is 49.9. Okay, now that we looked at some of the motorcycles, I'm gonna tell you exactly how the process works here. 
So what you do is you go around and you look at the motorcycles and find you know some that you like and all the vendors have pretty much the same motorcycles over and over and over and over again. So everyone's got their own little selection of the same thing. So if you see a motorcycle brand, let's say on this side, I would look for it over on that side, in the middle, over to the left, anywhere, even way over here behind me, they're all gonna have the same one. Now, they all share a mechanic. The mechanic is back over this way. We're gonna talk about them in just a few minutes. So if you are a foreigner buying a motorcycle here, you will need to have the cash. You can either pay by cash or do a bank transfer if you have a, an account in Thailand. Uh, with a bank, a bank account here in Thailand, yes. And what you would need to bring here is a residence certificate. And if you're new to Thailand, you may have never heard of this before, but it's something you need to get. You can get it from immigration. If you're going through a visa service, they can get it for you, but you're going to need a form called a residence certificate. You're also going to need your passport. Those are the two things they're going to need from you. So let's say you have those two things and you're coming over here and you're going to go ahead and purchase over here um, a new motorcycle. So you're going to give them the money and then you're going to do, they're going to do all the paperwork for you more or less. You're going to give them your passport and you're going to give them your residence certificate. Now they will take your passport and keep it for about a week as they have to go through to the uh, land transport office on your behalf and do a bunch of paperwork to get everything legal on the motorcycle. Which is why we're back here today, because my friend's sitting there, he is back here to pick up his passport today. And then from there, he has to wait a month to get your tags, but as long as you put the paperwork in your motorcycle, if you get pulled over or you're at a, uh, at a uh, check stop, you can show him the paperwork even though you don't have a tag and the cops know exactly what's going on. You just bought your motorcycle and your tags have not come in yet. Now, the nice thing about buying the motorcycle here is in this middle section where we did end up buying the motorcycle from, again, I don't know what the company's called in the middle here, but just the middle section, is we were looking at the Honda Wave. Well, they had three of them that were the same color black, so we were looking at three of them. We got to test drive about 10 different ones um, from everyone and we ended up liking the ones from this place the best. So we, uh, we narrowed it down to three. Now because they have one mechanic that does all the mechanic work from everyone, he doesn't have loyalty, let's say, to any one seller, okay? So what we did is we narrowed it down to three and we asked the mechanic to come out and try all three motorcycles and we said, can you tell us in your opinion which one would be the best one? Well, he took his time and drove all three motorcycles. That's actually him in the blue back there. He drove all three of them to see which one would be the best one, which one he would buy. They were all the same price. That wasn't the issue. And I had a feeling I knew of the three which one was the best one because when I was test driving them as well, I noticed that one seemed a lot better than the other two, but the one that I liked, that I thought was the best one, did have some brake issues, and I had to kickstart it, and it should have been an electric start. So anyway, he test drove all three models for us, and came back, and he said, the best one is, and he pointed to the one which I thought was the best quality one, and he said, the brakes are not good, and he said uh, that it needed a new battery, and then he pointed at the other ones and told me what was wrong with them, as well, and he said the others have you know, several issues that he would recommend buying the one that we ended up purchasing. Now here's the best part. For no extra charge, he took it back here to the shop and he replaced the brakes and he put a new battery in. The price did not go up. As a matter of fact, the price went down because that's when we negotiated. Um, we ended up getting around 1,500 baht off the price. If we were a little bit more aggressive with that, maybe we could have had more off but anyway, that's the buying process for a used motorcycle here, at least in Chiang Mai. Um, it's probably gonna be the same in all of Thailand. But anyway, the same process would apply if you were buying a new motorcycle at a dealership, except they're going to do, obviously it's brand new, you don't have to worry about quality or anything like that. 
but they will end up doing all the paperwork, going to the, D, uh, to the uh, land transport office for you and tag and all that. It's more of a turnkey. But for the value you can get here, if you do it right, and then have someone with more knowledge than you check out the motorcycle, this was a really good process. So the reason this may be a better way to buy a motorcycle versus paying less money if you buy one on Facebook Marketplace, you never know what you're getting with Facebook Marketplace. You're only going to see one motorcycle at a time. You really can't uh, compare it right away with other models. And if there's anything wrong with the motorcycle, you're going to need to take it in after you buy it and get it repaired. Versus at this place, if you can identify anything that's wrong, they will fix it right away. Now, I have bought a motorcycle. It was a dirt bike, and I bought it off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. Ended up buying a lemon, and I had it worked on. People said that whoever sold it to me took off all the good parts and replaced it with cheap parts. It was just a disaster. So if you can avoid that, if I can help you avoid that, I will. But yes, you are going to be able to find some decent quality out there on Facebook Marketplace. The likelihood is just a little less likely than something like this where you can try many different motorcycles of the same kind and in some instances the same exact color and see which one you like best and like I said before if there's anything wrong with it you can have them fix it right then right there well that's all I have for you today if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and if you feel so inclined buy us a coffee link in the description we sure would appreciate it I'm gonna end this with a shot behind Michak Rumchuk, uh, behind Tops to the entrance of where we just were. Hope this information helped you and until next time, Kapkun Kap. Kun kap.